watch and learn. Hey everybody. So tonight I am wondering what happened to Tim Robbins' son at the start of Arlington Road. Jeff Bridges is in his neighborhood doing whatever. He's driving home from work, I believe, school that he teaches at, I think. And he sees this kid with his hands all gnarled up and completely missing and everything. And he rushes him off to the hospital and that is sort of gets things moving for the movie because that's how um, Jeff Bridges meets Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack, who are of course the bad guys in the movie. And their son is the kid that blew his hands up, apparently playing with fireworks. Now his hands recover, so that's a good thing because throughout the rest of the movie, his Brady, I believe the kid's name is, his hands are fine. But given that his parents are terrorists who like to use explosives in order to achieve their political goals, it is really suspicious that their son, the movie kicks off with their son's hands being decimated by a fireworks mishap. And then of course Brady for the rest of the movie, he's not exactly sort of framed as being a pyro, sort of fireworks obsessed type kid. So it makes me wonder as nefarious as this theory, this theory may be, did Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack sort of, you know, look the other way or whatever so that their son would injure himself badly enough in order to find their way into Jeff Bridges' good graces? Because as anybody knows, if you've seen the movie, they're going to set Jeff Bridges up and turn him into the patsy and create um, a one man against the government thing so that when everything's said and done with and Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack fade off into the night, it looks like this was the work of Jeff Bridges' character, Michael Faraday, because of his anger that he had towards the federal government when his wife, she was an FBI agent, she was killed in a shootout gone wrong. So it, they have him set up to look like he was pissed off because of this and he decided to exact revenge on his wife's former employer by way of the FBI. So I'm not entirely sure. Did did Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack set their son up for that bit of a fall there so he could blow himself up in order to make the connection with Jeff Bridges in order to set him up? Or is this just complete happenstance and Brady's a little explosives loving psychopath just like his parents and so the kid's out somewhere doing something he shouldn't and he blows himself up and then just by chance Tim Robbins meets Jeff Bridges and then they start to put the pieces together and they realize that they can frame Jeff Bridges. I'm not entirely sure. What do you think? So don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think happened to Brady, the Tim Robbins kid at the start of Arlington Road. Assuming you've seen Arlington Road, more to the point, assuming that you care enough to discuss the movie to this degree, which I definitely do because I absolutely love this movie. I love the fact that the bad guys win. That like never happens in movies. That is such a unique way to end the movie. But that's it, I'm done. So I'm getting out of here. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for almost four minutes while I discussed what exactly took place with Brady at the start of Arlington Road. Like always, don't forget that you guys are amazing and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night.